How about another one of these, huh? The last video that I made on this, these types of topics was cringy, so I will try and make it up here by being a bit more serious this time. Uh, and for your information, this will be the last video like this on this channel, but I will be making my own side channel for this type of thing specifically, so look out for that later. Japan. Oh, Japan. You never fail to astonish me in some way or another. Urban exploration, or urbex as it is called in a shortened form, is not only big in Japan, it is practically a national pastime. It even has its own name. They call it Haikyo, which literally translates to ruin in Japanese. I probably butchered that. So, it should come as no surprise that Japan is chock full of interesting abandoned places. Today, we will be looking at Nara Dreamland. And yes, this is another abandoned amusement park. Now, if you were a Disney nerd, like me, you will find this one to be really interesting. Why? Because it is Disneyland. Like, it is the same thing. They really didn't try here at all. A lot of the rides and scenery are ripped straight out of Disneyland. This park was actually popular when it first opened uh, in 1961 and continued to be popular until it closed. But eventually, Tokyo Disney and Universal Studios opened, and everyone was all like, oh hey, an actual licensed park, let's go there instead. So Nara Dreamland lost a lot of visitors, and it was forced to shut its doors for good. But now, it gives us a really good insight into what Disneyland would look like should it be abandoned, which is very interesting. Nara Dreamland lovingly rips off Main Street USA, Sleeping Beauty's Castle, Adventureland with a Jungle, Clu a Jungle Cruise ride, the Matterhorn, just about every goddamn thing. Sure, it also has its own interesting features, including the infamous Screw Coaster, which has probably the best name for a roller coaster ever, and a water park built in. This park is neato because it is massive, like it is huge and there is a lot to explore here. Here's a map for reference. Nara Dreamland, like I said, opened in 1961 and remained in operation for 45 years when it eventually closed in 2006. That is quite the prolific amusement park, you gotta admit. Even when it was open, theme park enthusiasts would visit to make fun of the park's similarities to Disney. Actually, here is a POV film by some guy who went on their version of the Matterhorn. There's the random fish. The park looked pretty fun when it was open, but now it's even cooler because it's all overgrown and stuff. There is talk about this park possibly being demolished sometime in the near future, and that way I'm drawing similarities to Six Flags New Orleans, but to be honest, this one might even replace Six Flags New Orleans as the coolest abandoned amusement park ever, but that's a story for a different time. I'll close out the video now with some shots and videos taken by some brave explorers in the park. All links will be in the description, so check these people out. Peace.